Extras and welcome back to another YouTube video. I don't know why I always say YouTube video instead of saying video. So I've been behind, I've been procrastinating and I've been doubting myself a lot, but I promise y'all I'm back to it because I gotta um, show y'all that I really want this. So for the supporters that I do have, I thank y'all for um, supporting me like y'all do. And I hope that y'all continue to support me and y'all already know we just we just on a grind from here you know like i'm done i'm done playing games with y'all i'm done playing games period i'm the i'm done playing games with myself like i'm done i hope like i hope the reflection from this ring light is not in my glasses right now what if this looks so dumb because of the fact that Okay, hold on. I gotta see how my glasses look. Hold on. So y'all, I'm gonna just remove my glasses. Hold on. I'm gonna just remove my glasses because um, I don't like the glare. I just want to get to it. So obviously by the title, I'm gonna be telling y'all my top Netflix shows that I love to watch. The Netflix bangers, period. All right, I'm sorry, y'all. Hopefully no more distractions. So, I'm going to be telling y'all my top Netflix bangers that I love. I'm going to tell y'all the descriptions that they have on Netflix instead of just like trying to make up my own. <sighs> the first one I'm going to start with is Riverdale. Um, the description they have for it is while navigating the troubled waters of sex, romance, school, and family, teen Archie and his gang become entangled in a dark Riverdale mystery. So, it's like, it's, um like a mystery type drama show uh it's a really good show i watched all seasons of it four seasons so um i really recommend that y'all watch that <clears throat> if y'all like um it's based around like a high school setting so if y'all like shows like that that uh deal with like gangs and stuff and like killing and all that other stuff weird games and shit like that Ooh. I mean because then that's the show for y'all so the next show is chilling adventures of Sabrina um the description they have for that is magic and mischief collide as he and the that oh my gosh I suck Magic and mischief collide as half human, half which Sabrina navigates between two worlds, mortal teen life and her family's legacy, the Church of Night. That's a really good show if you like um like witch type stuff like that. Um uh it deals with like devil demons, stuff like that. Um oh my gosh, I suck at explaining stuff. See, this is exactly why I have to read the description and not like come up with my own because i suck at explaining i'm sorry y'all okay on to the next the next one is the 100 and that's a show that like deals with um people that lived in space and ended up coming down to earth they i guess earth was like um it was devastated by a nuclear apocalypse. That's what it says in the description. A century after Earth was devastated by a nuclear apocalypse, 100 space station residents are sent to the planet to determine whether it's habitable. So during the time that they're on Earth, they experience a lot, like a lot of weird stuff, different stuff that wouldn't happen on like our Earth, I don't think. <laughs> hopefully not but yeah so that's a very interesting uh that's a very interesting show if y'all want to watch something that deals with space and like weird stuff um another space show is called lost in space and that is about um a crap they um end up crash landing on an alien planet they're called the Robinson family and then they're basically fighting against us to survive and escape but they're surrounded by different like danger and different different it's hard not to explain it without like giving it off um different like basically alien type stuff going on around them so that's a good show oh I forgot to write one I meant put one in my notes okay 
so the next one of course is stranger things um if y'all haven't watched that already then i don't know like it's something wrong with y'all so stranger things is basically about um a little boy vanishing i'm not gonna tell y'all like if y'all haven't watched it, i'm not gonna tell y'all like his name and everything so it's about a little boy vanishing and they go like his friends go trying to figure out what happened to him his mom and everything they end up um uncovering something called the upside down which is where the little boy ended up being um i'm not gonna get much into it because i don't want to spoil it for you guys but that's basically the whole gist of it the next show is charmed and that's about witches um it's not the old charmed it's a new charmed um it's about uh after their mother's tragic death a trio of sisters bond over their new profile newfound powers vanquish demons and band together to defend their magical legacy i really love this show um i don't even know when they're coming out with another seed oh wait i think the second season was already this year so probably next year they'll be coming out with another season but y'all know since corona happened like a lot of stuff isn't doing seasons as soon as like we expect it to so that's a downfall okay so the next show is ratchet and this is about um this has sarah paulson in it i love her if y'all don't know her she is from um american horror story she plays a lot of other stuff they usually have her playing like a psychotic type character so she's the perfect fit for those type of uh like characters that she need to play um what bro what are you talking about so it says nurse go to bed Nurse Mildred Ratchet seeks employment at Lu Lucia State Hospital as it prepares to admit a new psychiatric patient, notorious killer Edmund Tolson. Now, I'm not going to get into, like, the relationship between her and Edmund Tolson, but just know, like, it's going to shock you. Um, it's a really good show. Um and it's it's kind of like rated r so if you don't want to see like any like people getting their eye taken out or anything like that like don't watch it <laughs> okay so the next show is called trinkets and this is about um three girls that become friends due to them stealing so the one girl named Elodie, she starts stealing because of the fact that her mom died. Um, one of the girls um, started stealing because of, I can't remember. I can't remember what the other two started stealing from. But that's what the one girl started stealing from. And then they ended up being in like, you know, a rehabilitation group or something like that. And that's where they had met each other and they started stealing with each other. And then it gets deeper and deeper from there. The next one, which is my favorite show, is Vampire Diaries, and obviously it's about vampires, so if y'all like stuff about vampires and, um, like, love and affairs and werewolves and witches and all that supernatural type stuff, that's the show for y'all. They have eight seasons, so I would recommend that show if y'all like to watch, like, sit and binge watch that would be a good show to binge watch because it's a lot of seasons and it's a lot of episodes to watch so yeah and they're supposed to be coming out with another season too okay um another show that ties to this one is called the originals that's a that's about vampires and werewolves and stuff like that also did i watch all five i don't even know if i watched all five wow okay yeah i'm gonna have to figure that out but anyways um another show that kind of ties into those two shows is called legacies and that's about like a kid type version of um like the um the people who played in vampire diaries and the originals their kids go to a school and they all like have different superpowers and stuff like that so that's what that's about um orange is the new black is also a good show if y'all haven't heard of that it's about um a woman's jail like women in jail and like going it's a lot of drama and a lot of stuff that goes on throughout that show so yeah i feel like stuff in like a jail type setting i would recommend that show and i also would recommend wentworth that's also a jail type setting females 
And that's a really good show. It's interesting, it's deep, and I feel like y'all like it. Both of those shows. Those are some both good shows. Like, if y'all like drama type stuff, beef, all of that. Um, and if y'all like, like stuff with the jail setting, like I said, then y'all would like that show. Another one is, and this is, I think this is my last one, is The Magicians. And obviously it's about magicians. <laughs> um... It's about when grad student Quentin Coldwater enters a college specializing in magic, he learns that the mythic fantasy world he once read about is very real. So, <clears throat> he ends up going to this school. He didn't know like magic was actually real. He was going to the school to like specialize in the type of magic like you know with cards and stuff like that like making stuff disappear he didn't think it was like actually like actual magic like actually making this stuff disappear not just like getting it hidden or something like that so those are my top netflix shows i love to watch i think that was about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. 14 shows so, um, I didn't even drink my juice. I was supposed to drink my juice while I was doing this, but I was ready to get it done and over with. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too boring. I low-key didn't want to do this video because of the fact that I, even though people like these type of, uh, videos, I feel like me sitting here explaining it maybe like dragged it a little bit but i hope y'all still enjoyed the video make sure y'all like y'all comment and y'all subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done what are you doing and there's bigger better and good things coming so make sure you subscribe to me um and yeah we on the grind we on the rise and we finna hit 1k we on the road to 1k we're gonna we're gonna get there we're gonna get there before the end of december i promise you i promise you but i love y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video we out Peace.